Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Antonelli here. I get asked all the time about Antonelli baseball and what are some of the things that happen behind the scenes um, that it takes to get ready for the season. You know, what am I doing when I'm not at the facility or at the field? And so um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes look into a lot of the stuff that, um, you know, we have to do to be ready for the season. A lot of stuff that people kind of, you know, if you're not, if you don't own an organization, um, you know, I think a lot of people just take for granted. They don't really think about where does all this stuff come from? Where does the gear come from? How does it get there? All that stuff. So let's take a little look here. We've got, um, so this is my living room and, um, today's gear day. So we've got, um, <laughs> a lot of boxes here. We've got probably 120 or so Rawlings bags, catcher's bags and, and, um, duffel slash backpacks it's like a hybrid um and then we've got you know 120 or so shorts here we've got um practice shirts we've got sweatshirts um so you can see my living room here is just kind of taken over by it and it just happens you know every single year where um my house becomes um an equipment room which my wife isn't always the happiest about um but so what happens is all the gear, you know, I have to place the order for all the gear. And so I have to decide, you know, what companies we're going to use. And we use different companies each year. Some years we use, um, you know, the same companies. But so we have to decide the companies we want to use. So this year we chose Rawlings bags. Um, I really, really am a fan of these bags. These have probably been the best bags we've had to date. And so um, we go Rawlings bags. Um, you know, then you got to choose the the model type, the color, all that stuff. You got to figure out, you know, who wants catcher's bags, who wants regular bags. And you do that obviously by just asking the players what they like, what they want. And then you get into the, um, the gear. So we'll go through some of the items here. Um, again, this is just some of our practice gear. Then you've got obviously game jerseys and helmets and all that stuff. So here are the shorts. We went with a gold short. And then you got to get your logo, how you want your logo, where you want it on the short. Um, we went black, practice, dry fit shirts. Um, again, the type of logo you want, where you want it on the shirt, how big you want it. Then you go, um, we go, all our players get sweatshirts. So here we've got New Balance sweatshirts. Same thing, you need the color, all that stuff. Um, you've got to have fit in here, the, here's the bags. Our 601s, we got ours in black. So you've got to get, um, you know, you've got to figure out uniform sizes. So how we do it is we have a fitting day, um, or I should say gear sizes. We have a fitting day where all the players come in and all the gear is there. We try it all on. I mark down, you know, the size of all our players. We keep it all in a, a computer system. And so... Um, we get all the sizes, then uh, that spits out pretty much how many of each size I need to get for each gear item. We put the order in. Probably takes a month or so, sometimes longer depending on the item for them to come in. They get shipped to me like this in just dozens of boxes. So again, we've got about 120, 130 of each item. And so here for practice, every player gets shorts, a dry fit shirt. Um, and a sweatshirt. We also get, um, every player gets two hats. So the hats are not included in the shipment. Hats actually um, just came in. This video right here was shot a couple days ago. And so all the hats, uh, every player gets two hats. Um, and then some other stuff that we get, every player gets a, a helmet. Um, every player gets two uniforms. Home and away, they get socks, they get a belt. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything else. I think that's pretty much it. And so how we do it is we do two different shipments. So first everyone will get their practice gear, and then everyone will get their game gear later on in the winter, probably around February, March or so. And so from here, um, now we have to, what my job is, once it all comes in, and that's what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to get all the orders packed. So we 
basically get, um, I take the bags out, I lay the bags all out here. Um, I've got to label the bags with the player's name. So, you know, I've got a list of all the names and numbers. I put the name and number on the bag, and then I go through and have to put every player's sizes in the bags. So, you know, for I'll look up, see, you know, our one of our 11-year-old players has a, you know, youth medium shirt. I dump it in the bag. You can see the name right there on the top of the card so everyone gets their name. So I'll put the, the shorts in, then the, the shirt that fits them, and the sweatshirt that fits them, um, then the hats that fit them, zip the bag up, and put it in my truck. And uh, our facility is about 15 minutes or so from my house, and so everyone's stuff gets loaded in my truck, drive it down there, and then that's where we pass out all the gear. Um, so that's pretty much how it's, how it's done. And again, this is just one of the pieces of the puzzle when it comes to the administrative side of things. Again, a lot of people see all the other stuff, the practices, and, you know, on Instagram, everyone's talking about the drills and, you know, the good players and, and all that stuff. But this is kind of the behind-the-scenes stuff that a lot of people don't ever get to see and they don't really think about. Um, and as a player, you know, when I played, I, this is, a, you definitely take this stuff for granted when you're a player, you know, this stuff just magically appears and you never ever think like, Oh, I wonder how it got here and how it got chosen and who put it together and, um, all that stuff. So this will give you a little bit of insight. I'm going to make a bunch of these videos cause I get, I get these questions a lot. You know, how does it all work? You know, from choosing tournament schedules to putting the regular season together to having umpires to, um, you know coaching staff and that's the other thing I forgot to say is that you know not only do our players get all this stuff but then you have to go through for all the coaches um, uh, and all that stuff and then you know whether it's joining your league or um, you know putting hotels together or there's just so many things that goes into it um, and so I'm going to give you guys kind of an inside look into to all that stuff um, so you guys have a good idea in case one day you want to start your own program because um you know, I was playing four years ago, and when I got into this, I had no idea how to do any of it. I just, like anything, I guess, you just kind of, you figure it out. You just, um, you know, it gets easier and easier. By now, we're on year five, and it's obviously a lot easier now than it was year one. But we also have a lot more teams now than we had year one. So then all the work just doubles and triples and quadruples and whatever's after that. So um, that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you guys have any questions. All this stuff just uh, just went out to our players. And so I'll fill you guys in when we get all of our game gear and all that stuff. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not done to already. Share the video with all your friends. Give us a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Check out our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball. Twitter feed, Antonelli 9 